Hi guys, it's uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, my allergies are bothering me really bad. Uh, Rick from uh, Ozark Living Homestead. Uh, it's um, second video today actually, uh, September the 25th, uh, about 6.30 at night. Um, I mentioned in one of my other videos that uh, there was going to be some changes coming uh, to the homestead uh, unexpected. Then changes that I'm not really happy with but I'm okay with and it's something we're going to deal with um, I mean okay uh, I had mentioned that my wife would be moving here on December the 15th permanently she had already put in her nose uh, with her job um, and she's a dog groomer she grooms dogs for a living so it's not like she had some big executive job or or anything but uh she has a very close relationship with the owners of the shop. Um, she's done a lot of work with them, and, and um, they actually, at one time, um, she quit them uh, on good terms and was grooming out of the house at home, had her own clients, and, and she's had clients that followed her from shop to shop. Wherever she moved, her clients followed her. Uh, she had a good following. And uh, one of the, the shops that she actually works at now and has been working at it for the past few years, quite a few years, uh, is one of the higher end, it's kind of hard to explain it, uh, grooming shops where people will pay $100 or $150 to get their dog groomed versus taking them to another shop that'll charge them $35. Or most of the shops that'll charge $35, this shop charges, you know, well, I'm not going to say exactly because I don't know their rates, but it's a higher end. And they have a higher end clientele. Uh, it's just the neighborhood that it, it's in, and um, and I'm not saying it's it's a great place. So I'm I'm not taking anything away from the shop. They do a great job, and again, of course, my wife is the only groomer they have, and the only groomer they've had for a long time. One of the owners, um, she uh, actually is a groomer, but she hasn't groomed in years. Uh, my wife has done most of the grooming for them, uh, but anyway, she had quit and was grooming from home and making really really good money. And, of course, no overhead. You know, of course, the electric bill went up just, you know, 25, 30, 40 bucks at the most of a month. You know, the water bill went up a little bit. But, you know, and she made good money. Um, so, uh, but it kind of got boring to her because she was always at home. The clients would actually bring the dogs and uh, they would uh, drop them off. And then they, they knew about what time to come back. Or she would text them and they would come back. And it's kind of a funny story when she first doing it. Uh, we live in a uh, very, very quiet neighborhood where the, the, what neighbors, nobody really knew everybody, but everybody knew who everybody was. Um, and some of the neighbors that we did talk to, they were very close to us, um, <laughs> mentioned that they couldn't figure out what was going on because they kept seeing people in these nice fancy cars pulling up and going to the house and then coming back and leaving. They would thought we were starting to deal drugs. <laughs> And uh, they started asking what was going on because they said it was kind of weird because everybody pulled in, brought a dog in, and then they left without the dog, and then they come back and they got the dog. So, yeah, it was just kind of funny. But anyway, the grooming shop that she's at now, and like I said, has been there before and um, been back for quite a while now, um, they actually they offered her more money they actually offered her so much money she could not turn them down to go back to their shop and to work for them and on her terms and everything and then she got to call her hours I mean she got to do everything pretty much whatever she needed and she wanted they gave her um, she needed time off they gave her time off or whatever she wanted they gave her um, and and they've always had a problem, which a lot of places places have problems now with um, finding good employees, because they actually have it's a um, it's a uh, um, boarding kennel, uh, uh, but not just a regular boarding kennel. It, it's a nice boarding kennel, and then they have daycare for dogs, and people actually bring their dogs there during the day, drop their dogs off, and they pick them up in the afternoon like a child. Uh, again, this it's this that's the kind of place this place is, <laughs> you know. And then they're no hot during the holidays. They're really really busy. Um, I'm starting to sound like a commercial for these guys, but th th it's a great shop. But anyway, 
um, my wife, they known about what's going on for the past two years since we bought the property. Um, you know, nothing's been kept from them. Nothing's been hidden from them. They knew all about it. Uh, they gave my wife off the time for us to come up here the very first time we come to look at the property. He gave her three days off just to get up here, look at it, and see if that's what we wanted. But uh, anyway, she had finally told them that come December the 15th, this December the 15th, um, because the grandbabies are up here now, that she was not going to miss spending Christmas with her grandbabies. Uh, so December the 15th, she had told them was her last day and that she was going to move up here permanently. And like she said, you know, I can stay in the camper till we get the rest of the house done or we can stay in part of the house, you know, to, until we get the rest done. My wife is a pretty tough girl. I ain't taking nothing away from her because she's pretty tough. And uh, she's not one of those little sissy girls. No offense, ladies. But she doesn't mind getting dirty and uh, she will sacrifice to do whatever it takes. But, so anyway, um, about a couple of months ago or so, uh, one of her bosses, it's a married couple, he was joking with her. He says, you know, why don't you just stay, get me through the week, through the holidays. And he says, you know, that's our worst time. We're having a hard time finding somebody to replace you. And that was one of the things she gave him such a big notice because she was not going to walk out on them. No way was she going to walk out on them. And... Um, he says, I'll fly you back and forth. He says, you won't have to worry about it. And and so she she thought he was joking. Uh, but he's done this for another girl. Because between my wife and another girl, which she's quitting too, because she had a baby and she's having a home built three counties over. So it's getting to be too much. And she had gone to school to be a teacher. And so she's actually going to start teaching. Um after the home's built and everything she's still there now but i think uh next month is her her last month and she pretty much ran the whole place and my wife did all the grooming and run the grooming shop part of it and everything but anyway she asked him was he serious and he says yes he said i'm very serious and then he talked to her wife her other boss his wife and she said yes we will pay once a month for you to fly up there and spend three or four days and then fly back every month if that's what it takes to keep you here and she's like you know <laughs> i appreciate it but i really don't want to do it and they anyway they talked her into it and i and me and her made the decision and then what money had a big part to do with it don't get me wrong because she does make very very good money um and at this time i'm spending a ton of money building the house you know not that we we're broke we're not broke but we don't have a lot of money. Don't get me wrong. I'm not working. You know, I sold the business and we bought a place for my son and all that stuff and, you know, where he's living. And uh, so we don't have a ton of money left over. But, I mean, we got enough to finish the house. Don't get me wrong. We, we're doing okay. Um, but she's making such good money. And, and But the main thing was is that they've been so good to her um, that she didn't want to leave them in a situation like that but so she told them and me and her worked this out we we uh agreed on it uh she's going to stay until the spring and he's going to fly her uh back and forth you know once a month is what he said and she says no she said that's a little too much she said probably about every six weeks i'll go up for three or four days uh basically she doesn't want to take advantage of them uh, and plus she thinks that's just a little too much, you know, once a month, three or four days, you know, back and forth, back and forth till they get old after a while. But, um, so anyway, that's one of the changes. I honestly don't like it cause I want her here, but then again, the house is not finished. It's nowhere near finished. I don't want to hear I have to live in the camper. So it kind of works out good. Um, the other bad news part, and it's no bad news for you guys, uh, cause we're going to be here. I'm going to be here. Uh, just my wife won't be here. Uh, excuse me, I almost tripped here. Um, our anniversary's come out almost 30 years now. Uh, in a couple more days. And this will be the first time we've never been together on our anniversary. And it's going to kind of be hard. Mm -hmm. 
but it's something we'll work out. Um, anyway, it, it'll be the last time. And then there's another thing. We've kind of split the family up now. I have a daughter that's still there. She's a city girl, 100%. She will never live here. Uh, she is not country one way or another. Um, she's been up here. She does not like it. Uh, she's 100% city. Uh, my son is here and his wife and grandkids. And they're liking it. They're still adjusting. And they got a long ways to go. But they're liking it. Uh, so... We can't have everybody everybody together. And my wife is not going to be able to be here on Thanksgiving either. And we've never been apart on Thanksgiving, none of the family. But the only good thing is my wife is uh, there with my daughter. So she'll get to spend it with my daughter. My daughter will have my wife. And I'm here with my son and the grandkids and his wife. So I'll be here. I'll have some family here to spend the time with. So it, that kind of works out. But me and my wife have always been together on thanksgiving we've never ever missed a thanksgiving together never ever uh, we've always been together the whole family's always been together but it's one of the things we're again that we're going to have to deal with now come christmas everybody's going to be up here so um my wife was determined that was the one thing come christmas that she is not going to miss and it's uh, you know not so much well it is for for me and her kids but her grandkids, she is not going to miss being with her grandkids. And she told her bosses that. And they're like, no, you're going to have a week. We'll fly you up there a week ahead. And uh, you spend a couple of days after Christmas and then you come back. We're okay with it. We'll, we'll work the schedule around, whatever it takes to get it done. But anyway, that's the bad news. You know, um, It's really not bad news for you guys. It's just bad news for me because I was really wishing, I was really hoping to get my wife up here um uh, because she really loves it up here but you know unfortunately things don't always work out the way you want to um but everything's going to be okay uh there's some more to this video but i know it's getting very long and i don't want to stretch these things out too long i've actually watched some 30 minute 45 minute videos and and i enjoy them and i watch them um but i think it's a little too long so um i'm gonna read I'm going to do the rest of this video later. Um, probably not tomorrow because uh, the little town that we live in here uh, is having their little... Uh, it's, it's not a... Well, I want to call it a festival. It's not a carnival. It's not a... But they have little things for the kids. It's a very, very small thing. And actually, um, they, they do a lot of cooking there. And they have a pancake breakfast. They have barbecue luncheons. And they have different things. And... Um, a lot of things to raise money and all this money that's raised either goes to the volunteer fire department the senior citizen center up there uh i think the church a couple of churches is involved and a couple other things uh a boys home or something like that, if i'm not mistaken or involved in anyway i'm gonna have the grandkids with me and my son and his wife and we're going to go up and they have a little parade and it, again don't this is nothing big or elaborate but you know, this is something they put on every year, and they call it yesteryears. Uh, they're kind of going back in time. And uh, so this is the first time I've ever been to it, and uh, I think it's going to be nice. They've, asked, from what I understand, added a lot more stuff to it than what they normally do. So anyway, guys, I'll probably be doing that all day tomorrow or, or the time that I am there. And I'll finish up this video here uh, later on and uh, give you guys a little more information on what's going on. All right, guys, have a good night.